This is Super Yacht News with the Sysman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. It seems like a long time since I did one of these videos, but it's only been since I did a Super Yacht News video. It's only been five days, but it feels like a long time. Anyway, uh, for our yacht spot feature, the first vessel you can see over here. This is uh, this was sent in by um, Mike Kesey, and he, he actually referred to it as Moti Yacht Z or Z. As you can see on the side of it, it has this uh, this logo with a Z in it. But the vessel's actually called Man of Steel, and uh, it's an 86 meter Ocean Co vessel, uh, or 282 feet. And this is the photographs are actually taken on the 17th Street Bridge, or near, obviously nearby the bridge, uh, in Fort Lauderdale. However, like I said, the vessel's actually called Man of Steel, and the owner is Barry Zelkman. Obviously, his name begins with a Z or a Z, and that's why he's got that on the side. He uh, made his money in steel, man of steel. Um, so that's that's where he's got that idea from, which I think is quite cool. Um, this was also formerly Moti Yacht Seven Seas, owned by Steven Spielberg, and Steven Spielberg's building a new boat, which is should be ready by now. Um, and um, that is Y seven two zero from Ocean Co. As well, by the way. If you if you uh, if you're interested, and uh, Jeff Bezos is Y seven two one. So those two boats are being finished right now uh, in um, in the Netherlands. So we'll move on anyway to the next boat. Now this photograph was sent in by George Welch, and he asked me. He didn't know the name of the vessel. Asked me if he knew what the vessel was called. So uh, if you know what this vessel is called, pause the video here. Put the uh, answer down below. You get ten points, but no cheating because I'm going to tell you what the vessel is. And it's actually Moti Yacht Viva. Now, uh, this was at the Monaco Yacht Show in 2021. It's a 94-meter or 308-foot yacht. She was the largest yacht at the 2021 uh, Monaco Yacht Show. And, um, and yeah, so she, this was also taken in West Palm Beach, by the way. Um, now, moving on to our next boat. Now, this is, uh, this is also a yacht spot feature. This is Moti Yacht Apo, and this was also taken in West Palm Beach. Now, we've we've done some stuff about Apo in the past. This is owned by Michael Lee Chin, the Jamaican slash Canadian businessman who's a self-made billionaire. What's interesting about this vessel, it's a good segue actually, because what's interesting about this vessel is, well, apart from the fact that this has just been at the Miami Boat Show, this, this yacht, and it is the largest super yacht ever to be at a boat show in North America. So that, that's a, it's quite a thing, isn't it? 115 meters or 377 feet. Uh, she was at the Monaco Yacht Show uh, last year and we we, uh, we looked at it. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get on board. I would still love to get on board. So if you're watching uh, Mr. Michael Lee Chin, I would still love to come and visit your vessel. Um, now the boat is for sale for allegedly well it's actually for sale for 330 million dollars and um i've seen some reporting that says that it is a profit over the the build price of course it the build prices are only estimates and and the build price the estimate of the build price was 300 million but we don't know if that's correct or not the only people who really know is the owner and the builder so but the reported build cost of this vessel was 300 million it's for sale for $330 million. So uh, potentially a, a, a bit of a profit there. And if you're asking why would anyone pay more, it's because it takes probably five years to build that vessel. And these people can go and buy a brand new vessel right now and have it right now. So that's why there's a premium on, on a, and it is essentially brand new, right? So that is a yacht spot feature for today. If you want to have some of your photos or videos featured in this in this section, uh, be sure to send them in and look at the ticker tape down below there and you'll see uh, where to send them to. All right, so we'll move on to our first story. And this is about Motiot Axioma. She's actually arrived, she's actually in Turkish waters now. Now, very briefly, you remember uh, Axioma was arrested in Gibraltar. Well, she was seized in Gibraltar and sold at auction because the owner who was under Russian sanctions or he's under sanctions because of his ties to uh, Vladimir Putin. The vessel was sat in uh, Gibraltar for nine months and recently left under tow. 
uh, from a tug, from a seagoing tug, and it was towed to Turkey. Now, it was an um, interesting journey. It was it went headed to Turkey when it had the AIS destination of Gemlik in Turkey. But then she went to Palma de Mallorca and sailed up and down in Palma de Mallorca for uh, a couple of days, um, most likely to pick up crew, which we'd reported on before. Then she headed uh, east again, but then she went to Algeria for a couple of days, sat in a port in Algeria, all under tow. And then a couple of days later, she left Algeria and headed to Turkey. Now she has changed her AIS destination in the last 24 hours, maybe 10 times. I don't know what's going on there, uh, but the vessel has is still sailing to the same original destination that was on AIS when she left Gibraltar, despite all of the changes in AIS destinations. Now, as we film this, she's just completed a transit of the Dardanelles Straits. But anyway, the yacht went up the straits there. It's a very narrow strait. I think it had an extra tug uh, added to the stern of the vessel because it's a limited maneuverability because it's being towed. And she just completed that transit of those straits when we started to film. We had a few people contact us saying that they thought it was heading to the Black Sea because that's where you go. When you want to go to the Black Sea, you go through the Bosphorus Straits. But to get there, you have to go through the Sea of Marmara. And this, the original destination on AIS, which is the current destination, is Gemlik, which is in Turkey, uh, which is just to the, which is turn right, just before, when you come out of the straits, you turn right and you head to Gemlik. And if you went straight on, you would go to the Bosphorus. Now, as we film this, we can't, we don't know, we, we haven't seen the vessel turn yet. So, but it looks like the vessel is going to Turkey. So I don't think it is going to the Black Sea, which would be Russia if it was going through there, wouldn't it? All right, if you are in Gemlik, by the way, uh, the vessel is due to arrive tomorrow, the 21st of February. So uh, be sure to get down there and get some footage if you can. All right, so we'll move on to our main story now. And this is an interesting story. This is about a ship that was en route to Russia carrying an illegal cargo it was intercepted by the Dutch customs um, and, the, and it was actually turned back to, to the Netherlands. Now the ship was believed to be a cargo vessel, but that's not been confirmed yet. But the vessel was already at sea uh, when it was stopped by customs. Now the ship was on a list of blocked vessels. There's a, there's a list in the Netherlands of 26 blocked vessels, 23 of them being luxury yachts and three being other types of vessels. Now the custom officers saw the ship at sea. The vessel had already left and was at sea and then they took action. Uh, they, they intercepted the ship, they stopped it and then they towed the vessel back to the port of Harlingen in, in the Netherlands. Then they did an inspection. And it was only when they did the inspection that they found out it was actually carrying an illegal cargo and it was headed for Russia. Now, the spokesman for the uh, Dutch customs couldn't say much more, but what he did say is that the vessel was not a luxury yacht. So that, that discards the 23 luxury yachts and it leaves us with three other vessels, but we don't know what types of vessels they are, but I would, that's why I said it's probably a cargo vessel because if it's got an illegal cargo on it, it's most likely a cargo vessel, right? Or a tanker. Um, so yeah, so the, um, they did an investigation, the public prosecution service investigated, and they said that the company from Harlingen, which where the vessel was moored, they said they did an investigation there. And they said, according to the prosecutor's office, the crew of the ship is not a suspect in that investigation and none of the crew have been arrested. So it, it sounds like the crew were told to leave and they didn't realize they were doing anything wrong, but that vessel was a blocked vessel. Now we don't know the name of the vessel. Uh, if you know the name of that vessel, if you have, a, some people have lists out there. If you know those three vessels, that are not the luxury yachts that have been blocked in the Netherlands, please get in touch and let us know. But that's all the information we have on that story. If you've got any more information on that story, this happened at the end of January and it's only just filtering out now. We got this story from a Dutch uh, news website. I'll put it on the screen. Um, so, but if you've got any more information on that, please get in touch. 
So one more thing before we go, we've just posted our first Patreon only Q&A video. Uh, so be sure to check out our page at patreon.com slash esysman. Uh, it's been very well received so far. Uh, you'll get to see also, you'll get to see exclusive videos not published on YouTube, such as this Q&A. And you'll get to see early access to feature videos, which will have no adverts in. And you'll also get to suggest topics for future videos and ask questions for future Q&As. So be sure to check that out at patreon.com slash esysman. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you've got any information about any of the stories we've featured tonight or any other, please be sure to get in touch. You know how to do that by now. It's through the About page of the YouTube channel. It's on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and also on Threema. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell for future notifications. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll, get, and I'll uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.